Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Weekend. Today is episode six. I think I finally got it right. And today is a, is a little bit of a different episode because it's not being recorded live. Um, I had my last five placement matches. You'll see this video probably come out on reward day which will be the 15th of October, which is today actually. But um, yeah, I recorded these episodes, or these video, um, these games, sorry, last night, and I wanted to try something a little different because I found when I'm recording, I don't often um, uh, concentrate as much as I would if I'm just, you know, just playing the game by myself. So I thought, give it a go, see what happens. You know, I'll play the games, I'll, I'll actually put my 110% effort in and uh, just concentrate fully on the game to try and get those wins. But uh, ultimately, it didn't make much difference. So uh, what we found here is that I'm just a bit shit at FIFA, I think. But either way, um, I'm not really sure um, what I came here to talk about. Oh, I did want to talk about a few things. Obviously, got the gameplay in the background. We went 2-0 down against this guy. Uh, a lot of the games were difficult, as you'd probably imagine. Um, I'm still adjusting to FIFA, I think what, it's only been about five or six days. Um, we played a lot of games and, and definitely learnt a lot of things. I think if you look at the first episode compared to now, not only has the uh, the level kind of gone up, I think, a little bit in, in the way of the opponents we face, but also our, our gameplay has definitely improved. Um, I think it's improved a lot with our team. And we got very lucky in, in a lot of the players we've got for our team, especially you know, uh, uh, Gareth Bale wants to watch. We saved up and managed to get him just via pack pools that we managed to sell and um, and stuff like that. You obviously that Joe Gomez helped considerably with that hundred thousand coins. Uh, but uh, yeah, like the likes of like Mane, we we've obviously got players in the club that we managed to get Calvert Lewin, who's been a huge addition to the team. Luckily, he wasn't too expensive because he's genuinely one of the uh, one of the best players for our team. Um, but yeah, the team did change a little bit, as you probably saw at the beginning. We brought in Tony Cruz, getting those uh, Real Madrid strong links to Mendy and Edin Militao, uh, as Hamez scores a nice goal. Um, we also had Tony... I said Tony Cruz. We also had... Um, who was the guy in the middle? Um, Thiago from Liverpool. Oh, it was a bit of a stupid purchase, because he was about 25, 27,000 coins, so... And of course, he's going to get ones to watch tomorrow. So, obviously, he'd be more expensive tomorrow. But ultimately, I don't know. Maybe you should. Have, maybe I should have waited and bought his ones to watch. But it didn't really matter at the end of the day. He's he's really good. Um, the only problem I've got is that I found that the whole midfield is very slow with Hamez, Cruz, and obviously uh, Thiago. But um, as you're seeing in the, in the background, it didn't make much difference because in this game we completely smashed this guy three nil. Um, for a good win. Next opponent had a full silver team. You, you know, you can never discredit a full silver team, uh, especially in what is it Div Four. So, you know, it kind of it kind of threw alarm bells at me. That, like, you know, this guy must be good if he's rocking a silver team, and uh, and he was. He was actually really good. But I always found that uh, you know when I'm facing these kind of teams, I I always put more effort in to try and to try and win and do better. Because, um, you know, you, you never want to lose against the Silver Team, do you? But, um, yeah, ultimately, there's uh, there's that. So you'll see that in the background. But, uh, yeah, the series has come a long way so far. And I'm really happy with with how it's turned out. I, I didn't actually expect us to have this kind of team, you know, so quickly. I think, obviously, we are very lucky. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice. And it's really nice to play with some of the players that I actually really enjoy. Not only players that have a lot of pace... Uh, I, I definitely, even though the game is gravitating towards that, and you can see that more and more, especially in the teams that people use. Um, like I think there's one team you'll see coming up that, you know, they've just had players out of position, like Adama Traore at striker, not even uh, tried to position change him at all. Just throw him up at strike. You've got, you know, that kind of stuff where people are just throwing pace wherever they can, because that's all this game really cares about, is if you've got pace, then you're you're going to succeed it doesn't matter if you are really good at shooting or, or whatever um if you've got pace say like something like saint maximin who's really only got pace and dribbling 
and not a whole lot of finishing. It, you know, it doesn't matter. You can still score score goals for days because you're just going you're just going behind the defence and and you'll just score goals because of the pace. But yeah, so that's really where the game is at, and it's a, it's a bit sad that um, you know all those players like Ebra and stuff probably are a bit redundant. Um, because I really thought this game, this this year of this game would be, you know, including of of players that don't have so much pace. So it doesn't really matter, but obviously that doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be the case. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Obviously that was the team I was talking about. You can see Adam Traore just up, up at uh, striker. The whole team just has pace. Richarlison, Bale, take Maximin. It's you know, it really does ensue nightmares when you see Adama Traore or any uh, Adama Traore or St. Maximin in, in anybody's teams. It's crazy. Um, we are coming up to the end of the video. I've kind of just rambled on about random stuff, but I do want to say um, I know probably not a lot of people watch this or any at all, which doesn't really bother me too much. I, I do really enjoy making videos of Chris Morton with an absolute banger. Uh, I really enjoy making videos and I'm not too bothered if nobody watches them. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. I, I put all my effort into any video that I make regardless of how many people watch them. Um, obviously, if people do watch them and like them, that is a huge bonus and tells me that, you know, the video, that kind of video, if it's a new idea possibly, is uh, is, is liked amongst the people. But yeah, it doesn't bother me too much um, or really, really at all. I mean, I'm not bothered how many subscribers we get at all. Um, obviously the idea is to grow the channel but uh, at this stage I'm just enjoying what I'm doing and it's a, it's a I don't know what the word is it's a good pastime because obviously at this current stage we're still um, you know kind of in lockdown I suppose not really but well I, I sort of am at the moment uh, so it's just it's just a nice thing to do obviously I do other things in the background like I, I am designing games all that kind of stuff and yeah, I just, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. So, there's that. Um, I, I will have a few more episodes of The Best coming out very soon. There's um, a silver Team of the Week objectives, which I, I managed to complete, which we are going to be doing an episode on, because I think he's actually really good, considering that he's only a silver. Uh, so we will have that in the near future. A few more episodes of The Best. I do have a new series starting as well, if anybody has got this far in the video. Uh, there is a new series starting, um, I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be called, or what it's entirely going to be about, but the premise is basically we're, we're going to be taking one player and kind of doing a mini road to glory around him, uh, kind of having a really basic either bronze team and having this one marquee player, um, generally probably playing friendlies I'd have thought. I don't really want to waste my Division Rivals games, you know, on these uh, other kind of series ideas that I that I do. Um, that's kind of why I play friendlies in the in the in the series of the best because um, I could just smash out the 30 games and then not have to worry about it. But you know, I, I, I'm not going to play my 30 games overnight. So uh, yeah, I play them in friendlies. But um, yeah, that's kind of the idea that I had. I, I'd have to see it. I'd have to see how it goes because obviously I'm kind of scared using a bronze team, um, especially against all the people that you would face in friendlies because friendlies is still a sweat fest, just like just like rivals, um, which I thought wouldn't be the case. I don't know. I was a bit naive coming into this game because I, I didn't play much FIFA 20, so I didn't know kind of what it what it was like. But um, yeah, I was really naive thinking, oh, friendlies would just be casual people using you know random stupid teams with players way out of position but no it's just people with full sweat teams again um you know sweating out for the win so i mean everyone's got their everyone's got their own motives haven't they for for sweating out games but it is what it is um either way i think that's probably going to do it for today um there isn't much gameplay left so i think we can probably cut this one short we we did um, end up losing this game unfortunately uh, this guy was really good. He had, a, you know, Suarez wants to watch uh, Gomez, who completely destroyed us. Um, another very, very strong opponent. But um, yeah, I think that's where we're going to call this episode. It did end five-one. Sadly, um, we did we did pick up two wins. I think out of the three, 
It was either two or three, I can't quite remember. Um, but either way, it, was, it wasn't too bad. It was not too bad. Um, yeah, we finished in rank two. Div four. So we should have some nice rewards waiting for us on the game when we log in. Of course, I'll, I'll probably save the rewards till the 16th when the new ones to watch teams come out so we can start opening packs then. But yeah, either way, it was really good fun. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode, sorry. Um, yeah, it was really good fun. So if you did enjoy it, please do drop it a like. I, I do want to continue doing these live, so this probably won't be a recurring theme. just wanted to kind of see how things go. Obviously, if you did prefer this, then I might do this more. It is a bit shorter, so it's a bit easier on, on the editing. Um, but also, the whole live stuff is kind of fun as well, but we shall see. Either way, if you did like this episode, please do drop it a like. That would be very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, if you want to check out any of the links, they're in the, in the description below. But with that said, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.